Hello. Good evening. Hello, Good evening. How are you, everybody? Good evening, teacher. Okay, good. I'm good evening. evening. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Okay, here we are. Okay, so we're ready. The platform is loading and that's it. We have only 15 people today. It today, uh, but I want to wait a little bit more because they sent me a couple of um, announcements from uh, the administration, from the office. But I will tell you later, we're gonna wait for some other people, okay? Then let's do the platform we said yesterday, we said that we're going to do some reading, right? That's right. In inferences. We'll do this by Hi everyone. In this class you'll develop skills in reading for and making inferences. We'll do this by reading an article titled A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. A Walk Up Fifth Avenue. One. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue between 33rd and 34th streets. This building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Two. Now walk up Fifth Avenue seven blocks to the New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd streets. This library holds over 10 million books. Behind the library is Bryant Park. In the summer, there's an outdoor cafe. And at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. 3. Walk up 6th Avenue to 49th Street. You're standing in the middle of the 19 buildings of Rockefeller Center. Turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rink there. 4. Right across from Rockefeller Center on 5th Avenue is St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in Cologne, Germany. Go inside St. Patrick's and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. Okay, that's, you know, like the pronunciation, right, of this. Uh, reading, I guess, in the next one, we have the I hope you have it here. No. No, they don't have it.
senior buddies. Hi everyone. In this the class, you'll develop very nice buddies. one. Okay. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I hope you do. Start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth. Avenue between 33rd. Okay, that one. Okay, so in that one you can see at the beginning it says I woke up Fifth Avenue. Okay, and then uh, we can say, for example, look at the images. There are four places and iconic, we can say, right? Something that are representative of, the, of that city, New York. So in the first one, it says, Start a start your tour at the Empire State Building on Fifth Avenue between 33rd and 34th Streets. So this building has 102 floors. Take the elevator to the 100 the 102nd floor for a great view of New York City. Any questions about those uh, words, vocabulary, or expressions? No. Okay. Number two. It says now walk up Fifth uh, Avenue, seven blocks to New York Public Library. The entrance is between 40th and 42nd Street. This library holds over 10 million books. Okay, behind the library is Bryan Park. In the summer, there is an outdoor cafe and at lunch hour, there are free music concerts. Okay, it's a nice place to go and have fun and lunch at the same time. Okay, and the number three, woke up Sixth Avenue to 49th Street, and you're standing in the middle of the 19 building, 19 building of Rockefeller Center. Okay, that's why they call it Rockefeller Center, right? Because there are 19, 19 buildings. Uh, turn right on 49th Street, walk another block, and turn left. You're in Rockefeller Plaza. In the winter, you can ice skate in the rain there. To the right so far. Okay, then the number four, I don't know, Jorge, can you see and read it? I don't know if you have a clear image. Jorge. Jorge cannot, cannot listen. Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, okay, no problem. Tenía apagado el, 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 el micrófono. <laughs> ah, okay. Perfect. Pero le estaba diciendo de que, eh, bueno, la que está proyectando no lo puedo ver bien, pero ya lo tengo uh -huh. en la plataforma. Ah, ok, perfect. Yes, that, that's what I was telling you, because I can see that, you know, for me it's very difficult, you know, to, to read, but go ahead. Ok, number four, right? Mm -hmm. Ok, right across from Rockefeller Center, on Fifth Avenue in St. Patrick's Cathedral. It's modeled after the cathedral in the, Colum. how do you pronounce that? Oh, Colum. Colum. Colum, Germany. Go inside uh, St. Patrick and leave the noisy city behind. Look at the beautiful blue windows. Many of these windows come from France. Perfect, Excellent. very good, Jorge. thank you very much. Okay, so you see this is the, uh, a walk up, you know, Fifth Avenue reading. And this is how you can describe, you know, um, a place in, in a country, right? And then you can say, for example, the, the location, 
then uh, a little, a brief, a brief description, and then probably some, uh, some activities that we can do in that place, right? Location, a description, and activities that we can do. For example, uh, can anybody think about a place here in El Salvador uh, that we can go and have, you know, fun and probably or visit? Yes, no? What is a place that we can recommend, for example, if I were a tourist here in El Salvador? It, oh, uh, in, well, in El Salvador, uh, maybe I can recommend, for example, uh, Portezuelo, mm -hmm. uh, in, in, Entre Pinos Hotel. Okay, Inchalata, right? Inchalata. Anything, anything with that one, right? If you recommend Entrepino's Hotel, uh, what would you say? The location first. Okay, Entrepino's is in is, La Palma? No, in Chalatenango, right? Is before San Ignacio. Okay. I don't know that there is La Palma. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Then you say Entrepino's is before. Uh, before you get to San Ignacio, it is an what? It is a building, it is an open area. Uh, it is an open area. So mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, rooms, mm -hmm. or how do you say, uh, cabanas? I don't know. Okay, the cabin, cabin. Okay, there are cabins. Mm -hmm. uh, a really big uh, space where oh. you can camping or only you can view, you see. Okay, good. Then you see those are the activities, right? It's a big place where you can go camping, okay? Or only uh, see the, uh, what? See the, the green? The view. Or the view, the, view, the uh, landscape. Uh, uh, the forest. Uh -huh. The forest, okay. So these are activities, location, a brief description of the place, and then you have the, the, and the activities, okay? Who else wants to share? Who más quiere compartir un lugar así como for I don't know, in, in different departments, right? Uh, anybody from Santa Ana here? Mm, yes, it is. It's a beautiful place. No people from Santa Ana? Eh, no teacher, but I am from Usulutan. Well, okay. uh -huh. well, I know that place because I live, eh, no sé cómo se dice, viví. I live. Pasado. I live. I live. I live there in Santiago de María. Ah, okay. Nice place. Yeah. So I recommend the, the Laguna de Alegría. Alegría, yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, Then you say, uh, I mean, la, la Laguna de Alegría is correct because it's, it's a name in Spanish, but, but you say the, uh, happiness, yes. the happiness Lagoon. Uh -huh. Uh, okay. But now, no, but now you'll understand it if you say that. I'll go to the Happiness Lagoon. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> okay. Okay. Laguna de Alegría. Okay. Yes. Can you describe? Can you describe a little bit about the Laguna de Alegría? Well, they can um, say, for example, the Laguna de Alegría is in, in uh, my goodness, uh, Santiago de Maria. Okay. And well, is in. Uh, Alegrías Town. Okay. Um, in the way. Uh, no sé cómo decirlo. The way to, on the way to. On the way to. Yes. Uh, from Santiago de María to Alegrías Town. Um, there are uh, other uh, okay. way. 
No, otro camino, no sé cómo es. Other way, other road. Other road. Other road. Porque no es como una carretera, sino que es como uh -huh. un camino de piedra. Entonces, no sé, se puede decir road. Ok, then you can say street. Uh -huh. Or way, pathway. But this for cars. Yes. Ok, then you can call them streets, right? They can say, for example, stone street. Street, right? Stone street or rural, rural street. Rural street. Uh -huh. eh, eh, mm, Quiero ver, no sé cómo decirlo, eh, es un camino hacia arriba, así, más it's o menos a, como tres kilómetros. It's a way, it's the way, uh, it's a, like you can say it's a stone uh, street up, okay, up. It's a stone street up, mm -hmm. and then you, you can, you must pay, um, I think, one dollar for person i don't know i don't remember mm -hmm. but you can uh, uh, make a un recorrido hacer un recorrido ahí you, you, can, you can walk around you can you walk. can walk around in in a picnic too ah, a picnic. Have make a picnic. a picnic have a picnic too or Creo que está bien. Yes. Then it's a natural area. It's a natural place. Yes. yes. Sur surrounded. There are beautiful um, vistas. Views, landscape, landscape. Landscape. Okay. Landscape and paisajes, right? Beautiful. Okay. Landscape. Gracias. Uh -huh. okay. Beautiful landscape. Yes. Oh, very good. Ok, se dan cuenta a veces que lo, que es lo que necesitamos a veces para hablar inglés, vocabulary, right? Eso es, entonces, eso es lo que a veces uno dice, ah, no puedo hablar, no, ok, try, very good, excellent, thank you very much. Ok, so then you can describe a place, ok, you see slowly, then using vocabulary and thinking in English. Eh, cuando uno hace este ejercicio de hablar, es donde uno se va dando cuenta qué tipo de palabras necesita, right? Y así es como se incrementa el vocabulario. Ok. And then practice it too. Great. One more. Una más. Alguien que quiera compartir una más. Mi yeah. teacher. Ok. Mi teacher. Yes, Again, okay. teacher. Yes, go ahead. Ok. Thank you. Uh, el Tungo Beach. Ah, ok. It's a beautiful, yes, it's a beautiful place. And there are a lot of tourists. And it has a uh, uh, hotels, uh, surfers, and um, I don't know, no more. <laughs> okay. It's in the in the uh, la libertad. It's in the libertad, libertad, right? Uh, it's in libertad. La libertad. Uh huh. Uh, The street is uh, a litoral, a litoral. The litoral street, uh -huh. yes. and the litoral street, and it's a beautiful place for relaxing. For relaxing, okay. For relaxing. yes, teacher. For yes. relaxing. Okay, so then in those places there is another word that we can use, which is hostel. Ah, oh, yeah, the and the El Tunco Beach. Uh, Mm -hmm. Some people, some uh, tourists uh, visited, visited mm -hmm. because uh, because uh, uh, the uh, comida teacher. The uh, I I don't remember the food. The food uh, are very delicious. Yes. Uh, fish. And the, the seafood. rice and fish. Uh -huh. uh, there are uh, uh, some, uh, uh, I'm sorry, different menu? Different yes. menu. Uh -huh. There is a, yes, it's it's a menu, right? There is a menu of food where you can have cocktails, shrimp, uh, ah, yeah. uh, fish. And, and, di and different, different drints too. Different drinks. Yes. Exactly. Beer, 
and tequila, uh, okay. juice, juice, milk, and <laughs> milk. <laughs> yeah, teacher, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. too. And, and coffee, too. And coffee, too, right? And quesadillas, too. Yes, know? teacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, in the afternoon, they tell, you yes, know, teacher. they sell quesadillas and everything with coffee. It's delicious, too. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes, okay, teacher, so only day those two. are places, right? Thank you. Places where we have uh, to visit. Uh, well, here in San Salvador, so you can talk about El Salvador del Mundo, right? El Salvador del Mundo is a statue, which is uh, in the Calle San Enrique Araujo, right? And Constitution Boulevard, or Boulevard Constitution. And uh, for example, it's a, it's a place Place, they call it plaza, right? It's a plaza uh, where people can, in the morning can go and have suco, okay? And then people go and you can take pictures. Uh, it's also a place that uh, we use for special celebrations, right? When there is a, for example, if a soccer team wins a, uh, championship here, they go and celebrate there. They celebrate the patron parties, okay? So they, it, they, it is used for meetings, okay? For big meetings, okay? And this is how you can describe that. You can also describe, uh, what is another one that we can describe here in Salvador? Another place? Uh, Bicentenarial Park. The plum park, right? Then you can also uh, talk about the Balboa Park, Cathedral Church, the National Theater, the National Palace. Okay, there is a, also a museum, right? Uh, where you can go and, and practice. Liberty Park. Uh huh, yes. So this is a place uh -huh. we can also call, call it that way. Okay, excellent. Then, um, so those are, remember, description, three steps, right? First, the location, okay, like it was in the reading. And then after the location, you have the description of the place and a couple of activities, okay, that we can do in that place. Uh, somebody was raising the hand. Who raised the hand? Okay, Emma. Yes, Emma. No, teacher, me equivoqué, no sé cómo se dice. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay, you, you, you click the, the wrong button. Okay, no problem. Okay, good. So then, this is, remember this, right? These are to talk about places. Evelyn, any special place in San Miguel? There are many. Um, las Capulín, eh, las uh -huh. Cuevas del Capulín. Okay. It's a beautiful place. Where, where, where uh, is it? Where is more the location? In Moncagua. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's situated in Moncagua. It has a clear water. No sé cómo se dice agua cristalina. Clear water or crystal uh, water. Okay. Crystal. You can also use crystal water. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, it's a beautiful landscape. Um, it's, it's near to San Miguel. Okay. It takes about... Uh, 30 minutes to get there and it's a beautiful place it's a beautiful place okay good all right okay good now we have uh let me see i'm gonna take a well now it's time because it's only 30 21 people i'm gonna take a screenshot give me a second for the attempt for la assistencia okay let me see okay now One okay. and then we have one more here.
Espérame, la verdad es Juan. Ok, they sent me today. Uh, me han mandado dos, dos recordatorios que tengo que hacerles. Déjenme ver. Ok, dice, uno es que me dicen que hoy les mandaron una notificación de algunos que, que van un poquito atrasados con la plataforma, ok. Recuerden que ahorita vamos a, a ¿cómo es que se llama? A ver eh, parte del examen, porque a ver si no hay algún inconveniente ahí con la, eh, con la plataforma. Y me dice acá, dice... Este día se les notificó a su participante de que están atrasados en algunas secciones, ¿ok? No todos. Then, dice, estamos en la semana 2, por tanto, ellos deberíamos estar en la sección 3 y examen. ¿okay? Ahorita prácticamente ya terminamos la, la sección 3. Entonces, vamos a ver el examen. O sea, de acuerdo a, las, a la clase, vamos bien, pero hay algunos que aparentemente van atrasados. No sé si no les si han tenido algún problema con, con los ejercicios o la plataforma les está fallando o algo. Entonces, pues, háganmelo saber para poder notificarlo o arreglarlo acá o, o, o algo. Y la otra es... Dice... Que hay algunos, eh, algunos alumnos, aquí tengo los nombres, les voy a dar los nombres de, de quienes por alguna razón no han mandado la, un documento que les enviaron para hacer constancia de que han recibido su, el material que está en la plataforma. Entonces, para que no se les olvide enviarlo, entonces que lo, que lo manden lo, lo más antes posible. Yo tengo ahí de Esmeralda Rosales, Claudia Patricia Rivas, que me veo, que Claudia está. Eh, Edwin, Edwin López Sánchez, Edwin Kier, Edwin, yes, Edwin Kier, eh, Edwin Hasiel, right? Jacqueline Nisette Ramírez, I have uh, Sánchez, Jorge Alberto Hule, Marie, María Susana Ayala, and Natalia Araceli Pineda, and Jacqueline Araceli Pineda. Ok, Natalie y Ok, para que envíen el documento este de que ya recibieron el material. Y, y un tercero, que eso en general para todos, que me dicen que eh, empiecen ya a preparar los documentos para el siguiente curso, ¿verdad? para que no nos atrasemos en el, en el inicio del siguiente. Creo que está el fecha límite ahí como por el 9 o 10 de marzo, o sea que eso quiere decir que es la próxima semana. Entonces, porque para que ya puedan ustedes continuar, o sea, ya se tengan los documentos al nomás terminar este y poder dar inicio con los. Porque antes nos tardábamos hasta dos, tres semanas en arrancar. Entonces, de esa manera aquí vamos más. Más rápido. ¿Ok? Entonces, esas tres cosas, plataforma, el documento del material que han recibido y y ya empezar a preparar los documentos de, de, de sus trabajos para que nos inscriban. Ok, having said that, habiendo dicho eso, right, having said that, ajá, uh -huh, yes, ok, and then eh, we continue with this. Now we're going to move to the to the test. Eh, not yet, not yet, Natalie. Este, pero este, hay que ir preparando ya los documentos okay, para que sea más más para agilizar el. el pero bueno, esta es la segunda semana. La próxima eh, tres, faltan, después de esta quedan dos, dos semanas exactamente. Okay, nos quedan dos semanas para terminar el curso. 
Entonces, en la siguiente tienen que presentar documentos para mientras ellos los, los eh, organizan. Entonces, ya para cuando terminemos esto, que es la semana de ya les digo. Aquí vamos, terminamos hoy cuatro, mañana no hay clase. La siguiente semana es del 8 al 11. O sea, ustedes miércoles más o menos tienen que estar presentando documentos. Y terminamos el 18. Okay, jueves 18 de marzo, ahí se termina. Y ya, si todo está arreglado, ya tienen todos los documentos, muy probablemente se comenzaría el 22 o 23 de marzo. Porque si no es después, ya quedas para después de vacaciones, ya está haciendo mucho tiempo que se de espera. Ok. Okay, now we have the midterm exam. Begins with a listening. And if you see here, it says, listen to the conversation, check the correct answer. Uh, here we have the going to, remember the going to? What is going to? going to is to express activities that we are planning to do, right? Then remember you have a, the option of checking first the, the question, Mark is going to be, Mark is going to be, then you read the possible answer. These are similar pronunciation, 13, 30, 33. 13, 30, 33. We're going to have a party on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Two. So, what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Three. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, we're going to have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD, and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. Okay, so you see, this is uh, the activity, for example, Mark is going to be how old, 13, 30, or 33? 13 years old. 13, 13, 13 years old. Correct. 13 years old. 13, years old. 13, right? 13, 30, 13, 30, 33. Yes, that's the pronunciation. Then they're going to have a party. What day? Saturday. 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 Logical day. And what are they going to do? Sing songs. Sing songs. They are sing going songs. to sing songs. Sing How? Songs. How? Using what? A karaoke uh, uh, party. Yes. Using the karaoke, that's correct. Okay. Then in the next one, we have match the questions to the answers. Okay, here we have the, the same uh, idea, right? Uh, are we going to work this weekend? Then you say, yes, I am. Look at this. Yes, yes, I am. I'm going to go soon. What is the correct answer? C. C. Okay. No, we are not. We're going to relax. 
Okay. What about the other one? Yes, I am. I'm going to go. I'm going to go swimming. This one, no, because they are looking. This is a, a relaxing activity. And it's about work. Uh, no, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. It's not about the weather. Okay, yes, they are. They're going to make pasta. They are not talking about cooking. Uh, yes, he is. He's going to visit his parents. They are not talking about visit or family members. And no, they aren't. They're going to have a party. Okay, this one could be, but they are talking about they, and here we're talking about we. Okay, the El proceso que acabo de hacer yo es elimination process. Okay, we eliminate the least possible. And at the end, we have the most logical or the most possible. Okay, so this is how we can work on this. Okay, this one is about cooking. So which one is it? That is letter D teacher. Exactly. Yes, right? they are. Cooking. They are going to make pasta. Exactly. So this is about food. And then are you going to exercise this evening? Letter A. Letter A, yes I am. I'm going to go swim because this is a physical activity, right? It's talking about a physical activity. Then you relate the question with the answer. Good. Is Bill going to do anything after work? Letter E. Letter E, right? Yes, Bill, E. We're talking about him. Then he's going to visit his parents, right? Are Pam and Andrew going to visit a picnic, to have a picnic, sorry, this weekend? Letter F. F. The last oh, one. Uh -huh, exactly, because now we're talking about A. No, they aren't. They're going to have a party. Okay, not picnic. And six options. Is it going to rain tomorrow? Letter B. Letter. Because here we have the weather. So no, I said no, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. Okay. And there we have. All of them are correct. Okay, when you have this kind of exercises, this is the the best way the best way to to answer them, right? This is elimination and relating the topic of the question with the possible answer. And that way it's easy to to answer this this questionnaire. Then we have select WH questions to complete the conversation. Here, the strategy is very similar, right? Okay, it's very similar. It says WH question. They have to, here you have to check the, the answer, right? Next summer, we're going to go to Alaska. Then what could it be? How are you going to get there? Where are you going to go next summer? The second one. The second one, right? Obvious. Next summer is the keyword. Hay palabras clave, right? Next summer. Where are you going to go next summer? I said, next summer. Ah, oh, we're going to go to Alaska. Okay. Then in this one you have Alaska. Wow. And then say, we're going to take a boat. The last one. The last one, correct, right? How are you gonna get there? How are you gonna get there? Okay. By plane, walking, flying, driving, sailing, uh, riding a horse, motorcycle, okay. what the means of transportation that you're planning to use. Then uh, the next one is that sounds so exciting. Okay, and I said, mm, I'm going to go with my family. The answer is the first. 
this person, right? Just who? Talking about people. Okay, who are you going to go with? Okay. And the last one says, oh, great. We're going to go on June 21st. Now here we have a date. When are you going to go? When are you going to go? Because this is about time. Okay. So you relate uh, when with the time, who with people, the family, uh, how, how are you going with the kind or the type of transportation you're planning to use? And where is the place, right? Alaska. So you see, always relation, the question, the answer, and elimination process. And this also helps you to understand things better. Esto desarrolla una capacidad de, 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 para sintetizar tú, right? So this is a nice exercise. Okay, then in the next one, we have complete the conversation. And then here you have to check conversation one. This one is connected with this one. Number two is connected here, three A, three B, and four A, four B. So there is like a little continuation, right? So in the first one, you have three options. Mariela, which one is it, the first one? I have. I have a headache. Okay, good. Miriam, what do you have in the second one, Miriam? Okay. No. Uh, drink. Drink this pill. Drink? this field, right? So here, then this one looks, it is a sentence or a question. So here there is a question mark, but it should be a period. Debería haber un punto, right? Entonces, a veces esto puede confundirlo, pero es un Typo, it's an error de dedo, right? I have a headache. Then it's a sentence, and then the recommendation, drink this pill. Jorge, what's the next one? The conversation two. Sorry. Okay. Estaba hablando otra vez con el micrófono apagado. Okay. okay, is what's the matter? What's the matter, Jorge? What's the matter? What's the matter with your microphone? Okay, yes, that's right. Say, what's the matter? Sí, uh -huh. No, it's okay. A mí me pasa y pasa. Yes, it's all of the hours. Yes, he said, what's the matter? And then it says, the next question. We're going to see Elizabeth. Evelyn Elizabeth. Okay. I, I don't feel um, well. I don't feel well. That's correct. Okay, that is correct. Good. And then you say, what's the matter? I don't feel well. I have a stomach ache. Good, Catherine. How about the conversation three? What, how, or why? How? How, how, how? how? how do you feel today? And then uh, Fernando, Joaquin, number three, B, three B. How do you feel today? I feel sore eyes. I feel sore eyes, or I have. That's so good. I feel sore eyes. Sore eyes. Sore eyes. Oh well. 
Do you have a different? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, we'll... I don't I don't know. Okay. And good, good, good. Number four. Let me see who's next. Who's next? Hey, but I don't see the name. Okay, then uh, Adrian, tell me a number four. Okay. These are the options. Uh, don't rest. I have a bad cake. Don't rest. Don't rest. I have a bad cake. Oh, but I have a pain in my back. Ah, uh, okay. So yeah, uh, don't exercise. Okay. Logical. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Don't exercise. And then, uh, Claudia, Claudia, Patricia, number four. And I have, I use, or I give. This is. Yes. This one? How? I, it, yes. Okay. And is how medication. This medication, this medication. Yes. Okay. Then, so we have two. Three. Okay. So then, what do we have to do in this case? Take. That is take. 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 Okay, yes, take. take. But I have a question. Uh-huh. Uh, when can you use drink instead of take? Okay, uh -huh. it's, uh, in Spanish, it's similar, right? Spanish is the same, but in English, drink is liquid. Oh, okay. Uh-huh, so then that, uh, that's why you say take. Okay, okay, fine. And then in this one? This is how. How? How? So now I, have a, I have a pain in my eye. And the last one? Use. 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 Okay, now the static change, right? Yes. Okay, so this one uh, in this exercise is helping us to use the vocabulary according to the to the situation, right? And then here we have a uh, home remedies. Okay, this is a reading article that you have to use. For example, what do you uh, what do you do when you have a a call? Probably we can check the vocabulary in the reading. What can you do for a poll? Many people eat a hot chicken soup. Okay. Uh, other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. Okay. So then, uh, if you see here, for example, they should eat soup, hot chicken soup, because the and drink hot water is for beverage. El drink es para bebidas, right? And then la sopa no es considerada una bebida, right? It's just food. That's why they use food and drink. So el drink es para cualquier tipo de bebida. There is another word. No sé si ya la conocen, but I'm going to... Write it here. Call it the beverage. Singular and then beverages in plural. Oh, 
No, that's not a clue. Okay, there you go. Okay, so this, uh, the one on the left is singular and the other one is in plural. Say beverage, so bebidas in general, right? And then beverages is bebidas. And then in that case, you can determine when you have sodas, when you have uh, a juices, when you have alcoholic drinks or alcoholic beverages, and then you have non-alcoholic, okay? Then you use that one. Then the other one is cough. A cough, when we have a cough, <laughs> and then you go like cough. Then, do you have a bad cough? Drink warm tea or taste some honey, okay? This can make your throat feel bad. No problem with this vocabulary in this too? No. Teacher, yes. warm is como, es tibio. como tibio, ¿verdad? Tibio, uh -huh. We have cold, cool, la... warm, and hot. Okay, teacher. Yes. Cool sería como fresquito, right? And then cold, heladito, and then warm, tibio, and then hot. Yes. Okay. Uh, Let's see, did it? Can you please read this one? A headache. What about a headache? Yep. Que no veo bien. Put a cold, put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water. You can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. Okay. Remember that these are home remedies, right? This is what they call home remedies. They say that uh, put cold, a cold clothes on your head, okay? Como cuando tenemos calentura, right? When you have this kind of uh, temperature. Uh, splash your face with cold water, you know, splash. Okay, and then um, you can also put your hands in hot water. That's for a circular magic. Sun grenade, right? I don't know. And then uh, you can also put your hands in hot water and this can help. Okay, good. And Emma, could you please read the last one? In Sony. Can sleep at night? Drink a large glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath. Okay, good. So you see, this one works. Now drink large, uh, drink a large glass of warm milk and then or take a very warm bath. Sometimes the second one is not possible. Okay, then we have what you can do for a cold what you can do for a cup and then you can go back here and you have the four options okay and voila questions in this moment no teacher okay uh, so remember that uh, I think it's intermediate one. Mm -hmm. Intermediate one. So I can see it intermediate one. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. Then. Uh, we have, uh, this is the end of the uh, section three and the midterm exam. So you, have, you need to have complete, complete this 
uh, during this weekend or what today. And because the next two weeks we have unit four, I mean section four, section five, and the final exam, right? The final exam in the 17th, more or less. Okay, in this one, if you see, we're going to be talking uh, about things people hate to do. Okay, so this is the, the next topic that we have in the following. And look at this question. Can you read this question? Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Okay. What does it mean? ¿Qué significa eso? Divertiste. Yes, and then, and that is in what tense? Past tense, right? So that means that next, uh, next week we will be studying also with the, with the past tense, right? Verb in past tense, so this is another, okay, the, the next step, now we have the going to, okay, then we have this uh, kind of practices with, uh, body part and to express how we feel okay when we feel or what we have problems with uh, healthy uh, healthy no healthy lifestyle or when we have a uh, health problem then we have also the topic of giving direction okay and location and then we have the one uh, about the past tense okay then uh what is your strategy to practice vocabulary? ¿Qué estrategia usan para aprender vocabulary? Because with more, with, okay. uh -huh. with more. In your case, Miriam, you read more. Okay, what else? Watch movies. Watch movies, okay, that's a good one too. Uh -huh. Listen to songs. Listen, listen to music. music. Listen to music. Uh -huh. Listen to music. Okay, what else? Probably. Repeat, repeat pronunciation. Uh -huh. Repeat. Repeating uh, pronunciation. Yes, repeating words. Uh -huh. If I can, uh, talking about other people uh, okay. speak English. I uh have -huh. practice with other people who speak English. Okay. And, but the most important thing, okay, all those things work, okay, but the, remember that the, when you have a new word, what you have to do is to use it. Use it in a sentence, in a sentence, okay? Because if I, I can give you 10 verbs today, okay, and then probably you memorize it, okay, tomorrow say, okay, stay, go, play, study, work, see, run, speak, think, okay. You memorize it. But uh, probably one week after, you will not remember. It. Okay? So then uh, the best thing to do is, okay, you have 10 verbs, and then you write a sentence about your life with that verb. Okay? And then, for example, um, I will tell you this verb. Okay, let's move here. Okay, you see the bird? Splendor. Okay, splendor is when we have money and we spend money without thinking. Okay, for example, uh, I got my salary today and I squander all my money with my friends. Okay. What does it mean? Malgastar. Okay, yes. Okay, the filfarra, right? So then I squander all my money, right? When I and then you say, for example, when I was single, when I was single, I squandered 
all my money every payday. Okay. Or you can say, for example, the opposite, right? Uh, well, uh, when since I began to work, I never squandered my money. Okay. I always took care of my money. And then after that, you will remember. Okay. Uh, el lunes le voy a preguntar ese verbo. Okay. You have to tell me a sentence. Isn't it? <laughs> okay, but you see, for example, once you use it, okay, it's very difficult to uh, forget. The, hay diferentes palabras de decir gastar en inglés, right? You have waste, waste money, squander money, splurge. Okay, but hay una pequeña diferencia. For example, if you say splurge, es la última. Ya lo dejo ir, don't worry, splurge. Okay, a flirt is como cuando uno, cuando uno se consiente, right? Uno se gaste, no era actor, no era actor, no era un par de camisas, okay? Then you flirt money. You can say, I take care of my money, but sometimes I flirt uh, some money on things that I consider that I deserve. Okay, so this is uh, tirar un gasto así, pero para algo que uno sabe que no lo hace siempre, right? It's just for, como darse un regalito uno mismo, right? To start to spend some money on me. Okay, it's good. So then, uh, always, when you have a new word, the like, consejo es, when you have a new word, put it in a sentence. Y eso se llama poner el vocabulario en contexto. Okay, y un vocabulario en contexto es más fácil de recordar que uno isolated que uno así aislado, ¿ok? Then that's, that's the tip. Ok, people, have a nice Thanks weekend. Thanks for, for yeah. the advice t-shirt. Anytime, Rodrigo, good. Uh, then see you on Monday, ¿ok? We're going to have vacation now, ¿ok? Then okay. have a nice weekend. Okay. <laughs> bye. Okay. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, bye.